Hello everyone. Welcome to my new development tutorial. This is my third uh, video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to develop RESTful services uh, with Mew Studio and how to run it. In my previous uh, video, I have a demo how to install Mew Studio how to uh, install the meal runtime and then in my second tutorial I have demo how to uh, integrate meal ESB uh, with GMS so I if you if you miss my previous uh, tutorial you can go to uh, YouTube and take a look so I set up a scenario like this uh, in today's demo, I'm going to show you from scratch, as always, uh, I, I give demo from scratch so that you can learn it um, from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to show you the how to build a RESTful service with Mu. Uh, so the Mu flow will look like this. I already built this. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to create a new one and build from scratch. So the use cases is that the user invoke um, HTTP and then invoke the RESTful services. This is the case where your new development, you write a component and you, you would like to take advantage of uh, Mu RESTful component. So I create uh, two services. Uh, one is called school services, a little bit complicated. The other one is called school uh, hello services. Um, so this is the configuration. Um, I would like to show you in the you know during the development process, uh, you will encounter problem. Uh, and also I will show you how to resolve the problem and uh, as a, you know, always if you look at my other tutorials you always encounter problem that, that that's a part of development but uh, as a good developer you should never panic you should always uh, think about it why we have the problem what's the problem and then try to think the way how to resolve them all right uh, Given that, I'm going to uh, start now. I'm going to create a new uh, project. Let's see, new new project. Um, I'm going to give, say, HTTP, uh, HTTP, HTTP REST demo, right? And you can go through quickly. There's not, uh, there's really you don't have to change anything, and just finish. All right. So it come to the mu flow um, directly. Uh, first thing, uh, we need to create the HTTP connector. Uh, let's. If you are. Uh, familiar with those you can type HTTP for example right they come with a connector HTTP connector so drag it over here um, we have done this before so you can double click here and then to configure it uh, nothing to be done here do OK alright so and then you come here to that error gone um so go back here so this is all the default you don't have actually i didn't change anything so far right and then we need to create a restful services all right and let's see rest here okay here is also another component is rest services we can go here right so basically now you we have done all the uh, flow uh, configuration. If you go here, you will see uh, we need 
some implementation, right? Um, so here you see if you, you need to add it and fail to add it. But so I haven't created anything, right? So I need to create um, a service. So typically we put here, uh, we say new class. Um, so we call the first one, we call it hello service. All right, do finish. Um, so I already created this. I'm not going to retype because it take a take a while. Uh, let me copy over this. My so under here I have hello service, right? So this is easy. Um, I can just copy over, right? Control C, and let's um, close this one. So we can do Control V. Contrast. Um, okay, so it's error, and then I say move that to the package. Okay, do that. All right, do Control C. Uh, so basically, uh, this is pretty standard. Uh, you can see this is a uh, new implement in Jersey. So this actually this is if you you're familiar with uh, other implementation like Spring, uh, this is exactly the same thing. All right. So I have a path. So hello. Um, actually, it doesn't. Uh, maybe we should do like this. Let's see. Um, so this we just say hello and then we. We have we I implement a get method, so we pass a name here, and so we expect to return the name, uh, right? And nothing special here. Uh, so we can save this. So now we create a implementation, a RESTful implementation called Hello Service, right? And then we go back here. Remember that uh, we need to add a a, a component. Um, here you can search it. So this is you this way. Hello service. Okay, here, right? See that? Cool. Uh, nothing to change, and then say finish. All right. I think we have done everything here. Uh, so far everything looks good. Um, if you look. Previous uh, my tutorial, you need to configure something here, right? Uh, say, let's say call HTTP HTTP um, REST demo, right? Uh, because this, I want to see that uh, us privacy, I we always do this way, right? So. I know this is not working, but uh, I just want to show you, you know, the standard way when you always do things and then you do the same layer and then you test it, right? Okay. I know it's not working, but I'm, I'm going to fix it. Um, so everything look good and then save it and we can run it, right? So before I run it, I want to show you. Um, so we have a connector, global connector here. And say 8081, same thing, right? Local host, nothing special. Here, go back. Um, so of course, when I act like even I didn't change anything. Um, OK, so before I run it, let, let's take a brief look how the the XML configuration looks like, right? So we have a global connector, HTTP connector configuration. So this is a conf configuration on port. And we have local, we said we are listening on that. Here the path, here, right? And uh, this is RESTful service. See here the jersey. Um, Mill using Jersey implementation. Here is our component class. This is our service, right? That's it. 
Um, so let's go back and we can run it. Oh, I think I clicked too fast. It will run another. Yeah, that that is the one. The other one is running this, right? Where where I want to run demo this one. So we okay, remove that. So now we need to run. Oh, sorry. So click here, and then we need to run as new application, right? So hopefully everything's good. And as you can see that the HTTP REST demo is here, right? And it is running. Uh, let's try to invoke it, right? So we have local host uh, 8081, right? So we have HTTP REST demo. Um, okay, so remember here in our class, we said hello, right? And uh, let's see how it works. So we will see hello. Okay, um, it expect a name here, right? See that a name here. So let's give a name. My name is Gary Liu, right? So let's invoke it. Uh, <clears throat> see that resource not found. So this is not good. So what happened here? If you look at the error here. Uh, see, available is this, um, but there's nothing listening on, no listener found request. So, you, you might ask yourself, okay, so I defined this URL, why it's not working? It was working, I tell you, frankly speaking, uh, before the, uh, I think in the last runtime of Studio, it worked. So Mu has changed something. And uh, if you look, Google it, you will find there there is a problem. There's somebody already. Uh, so typically you can do this way, right? If you have this problem, copy this and Google it. You should find a solution or some some kind of hint right uh so actually you know uh answer so this is not a solution but Anyway, uh, I'm not going to, but when you need to spend, spend some time, you know, it's not easy, as always. Um, oh, actually, this is the solution, tell you what's the problem. Um, you will Google it, and you should be able to find it. Uh, what has happened here with this ad, uh, but, yeah, yeah, people recommend you do different things. You don't have to based on that. Um, okay, so can you tell me if this example works? Let's see here. Anyway, um, oh. Anyway, so some uh, I I do found a suggestion uh, on the internet um, how to resolve this problem. So basically, what 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 is the real problem is is the path here. So think about this: when you have problem, you should think about this is the issue. So what the mu has changed it. We have to do like this. You can pass 
everything. So everything in Jersey, it will work. So you have to fix like that. But anyway, you need to spend some time, Google it and look internet. Um, people give you some hint, right? And then you can do, uh, basically it's a lot of trial and error. There's really not very uh, specs way. So, but let's see if we can fix this. So what we did, uh, let's go back here. So we passed the pass here, right? Say everything, okay? Let's to save it here. And let's see if I can run this now. Okay, so this is available, deployed. And let's go to browser and do the same here. Let's see what happens. Um, huh, that's interesting. So I'm expecting something uh, return, right? So let's see what happened. Still not, not returning uh, proper stuff. So, okay. Let's see if I do this, what happened? So, let's see. Yes. And uh, just one second. Let me see. So sometimes this is a sometimes if you have two class in the same name, uh, you need to make sure where you change it. Right. So let's see if I change this. Um, so here it does normally yeah it doesn't show you the pass right. So last time let's see. If Change the path, see, see, hopefully, you know. Uh, there's a lot of trial and errors. Uh, that's how you study stuff, right? To understand the, how, how the system works. Um, let's see. Now, oh, so I know what happened. So I, I don't think I, I need to change it. So here are the so yeah, here are the pass. Yeah, so this works, right? So we remove that because it expecting anything here the star, right? So I put the hello and the name. This is name, right? Um, if you look here, uh, so I didn't put a slash. I I think even I put a slash, it should work, right? Let's do that. Uh, just make it uh, uh, same as the the standard, right? Uh, let's see. It should work. So this is deployed, and let's go here. See, see something different. Uh, John Schmiss. Yeah, so that works, right? Okay. So basically, we we have demo, you know, create a simple RESTful service implementation, uh, you know, guest method. Uh, this is it's working. Um, so the only only tricky part is that make sure when you uh, specify this. It should be a star. That that's a newer, little bit new stuff. Uh, privately, you can do that way. Uh, I I don't know. This is on purpose uh, or not. New need to whether to fix it. Um, actually, this might not may not be a bad idea uh, to define like this. Uh, I think it will simplify the development. Uh, Mule need to do one thing is that should have a query uh, all the interfaces um, like Swagger you can implement Swagger to query all the interfaces hopefully in the next release they can uh, put this um, one more thing uh, before I finish the demo so I just implement this right as I said you can implement multiple 
uh, services. Uh, how do you do that? Let me <clears throat> copy this over. So from this, I'm going to copy a school service, right? Uh, this is a little bit complex example. Let's copy over, copy, and uh, so we can paste here, I guess. Yes. Uh, some modified must be saved uh, before operate. Okay, because I didn't save it. That's fine. So in this my projects here demo, I have another uh, implementation. So this is a little bit complicated. Uh, I want to query, you know, the school information and give ID. So if ID equal to one, we're going to return this. Uh, uh, say father and Jew school or oh, let's say we can change this to love joy ISD uh, heart uh, elementary school right <clears throat> so the school name like that right say save it uh, so this is another implementation. Um, so now we need to go here. So add another services. Say later on some, someone implement another one. So we add one. So we can choose it. Say, um, what's it called? Yeah, it's called school service, right? So this is the one. Let's do OK to finish. All right. Now we have two services basically, right? And hopefully I can save it. Let's save it and then do that. If you look at the the HTM here, uh, let's if I can zoom in so you can see it better, right? So we have two of them, right? School services. Let's go back here. Uh, well, so what I have done is I add another um, services to the my, to, to the application. Um, so now let's see if I can invoke it. So go here, and then let's say go to flow here. Right? So run this new service. So we have two service, right? Remember. One is uh, it's just hello service. We return the uh, the the name. The other one is uh, have a school information. A little bit complicated. Uh, so I just the purpose is to is to want to show you uh, you can deploy different services. So last time I say John Smith, uh, Smith let's say Mary uh, Johnson. All right. Okay. So this is a okay. Hello there, Mary Johnson. Um. So remember, we have here called I think it's called schools one. Let's say. Um. Here, right? So we say schools here. Let's see that. Let me see. Say schools, and we need the ID here, right? So okay. Uh, let's go back to the browser. So here the URL, right? So return. Hey, so this is what we are looking for. This look better is uh, in uh, kind of XML. You can translate to JSON. Uh, it's very popular. Or convert to you know JSON uh, format. Say Lovejoy. That's what I type, right? So the read. Um, so if you look the URL here, okay. So this is working. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you drop the RESTful service. You implement uh, certain uh, RESTful classes. Uh, so invoke it. The only tricky part is that you, the 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 error situation we see here. Uh, yeah, so that that's pretty much about this demo. 
Uh, in this demo, I show you how to build a, a new flow or new application. Basically, you want to post your services uh, inside the new container. So this is how you do it. Um, hope you like it, and uh, I will next one probably will cover some. Um, a uh, subflow, uh, and also I want to cover the domain project. Uh, let's see. But anyway, thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you like it and uh, comment on my on my video. Thank you. Bye now.